The Texas Epidemic Public Health Institute, or TEFI for short, has the goal of helping Texas better prepare for a next pandemic. The UT Health Houston School of Public Health has had decades of experience serving communities and keeping them healthy. Also, we work with communities of healthcare workers to help improve outcomes of traditional medicine. When we contrast the community that TEFI works with is really a, a gathering of professionals who can magnify and multiply that impact. And it helps us reach a large state such as Texas. And we're doing it in all three pillars of training, of monitoring early detection, and also in public health communications. Texas is known as a large state with large population centers such as Houston and Dallas, but it also has an enormous agricultural component and industry within it. We have worked throughout the COVID-19 pandemic and we are working towards the future to make sure our food supply chain is resilient. And nothing is a greater example of that. We've had a recent H5N1 outbreak within the, the dairy industry. And we're working very closely with both government officials and with farms to help understand what's happening to prevent uh, an outbreak of H5N1 or so-called bird flu um, within our population. So TexWeb stands for Texas Wastewater Environmental Biomonitoring. And it is TEFI's early detection program. And it focuses basically on detecting pathogens in wastewater for community health. So with TexWeb, we are building a network across the state of Texas um, that provides us information gleaned from wastewater about what pathogens are circulating in our communities. We built a pipeline to process wastewater, in particular to isolate specific viruses, with many years of work that was utilized to a great extent when the SARS-CoV-2 pandemic started. We started to think about how we can innovate what is the next great challenge in this science? And so we switched from a, a single virus testing method to a pan virus or agnostic sequencing method that gave us the entire human virome in a single reaction. And so as new viruses emerge in the community that the traditional public health sector is unaware of, or as new viruses evolve clandestinely in people for which we don't have tests for, because they can be found in wastewater and because we can sequence them, we can detect these viruses before really the traditional methods know they're even out there. And with that, what we can do is get that information into the hands of public health practitioners and clinicians earlier on in the process. Um, and so that we have actionable information to mitigate the spread of infectious diseases and hopefully reduce their impact on public health and on the economy. As public health practitioners, we can take that information and, and really understand how our resources need to be deployed, have a general idea about what our staffing needs will be and so on. So doing the work now is critical to being ready. One of the things we're doing is working with the Texas Department of State Health Services to create trainings, develop trainings for infectious disease preparedness that can be provided to community health workers because they touch almost every city and county in our state. It's a great way to get some of the uh, preparedness knowledge out there in our communities. TEFI and DSHS are working together to create a public health workforce pipeline that will bring in, hopefully, individuals who may not have thought of public health as a career. Community health workers traditionally have had almost no training in infectious disease prevention, almost no training in pandemic preparedness. And so across this great state, we've introduced pandemic preparedness, prevention and resilience into community health worker training. I think this, the thing that sets Tuffy's trainings apart from other programs is our goal to touch all different sectors in a community. What we really envision in Texas is having cities where individuals who are working in our schools and our clinics, who are working in our grocery stores, have some basic infectious disease knowledge. We've likened it before to, to a reserve, a public health reserve, if you will. Um, but the, 
The trainings are not what we think of when we think of academic trainings. They're at no, they're provided at no cost um, to, to the folks who are interested in, in, in taking them. And, um, and again, they're just building this, strengthening this network of individuals who are able to respond in the event we have another infectious disease outbreak. TEFI takes public health communication extremely seriously. And TEFI has, has really taken that to a new level and established an academic program in public health communications. How do we message to the public of what's happening that's relevant in, in public health? The, the field of healthcare communication already exists, but the field of public health communication, I think, has been overlooked for too long. I believe we're going to be able to predict new viruses that will emerge and predict how they will evolve and adapt in real time. It is an innovative body for new discovery and new wastewater science. It is a vehicle by which we are testing new paradigms, discovering new viruses, implementing new procedures, defining new methodologies, and actually building new pipelines for all public health folks in the future. Our primary hope is to have a sustainable program that can serve as a model for other states and communities uh, who would like to be better prepared for infectious disease outbreaks.